What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I am always contending for the faith, once for all, delivered to the saints. And on this episode of 1517 Films, we get to shout from the rooftops that Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Now, all the vault of heaven resounds in praise of love that still abounds. Christ has triumphed. He is living. Sing, choirs of angels, loud and clear. Repeat the song of glory here. Christ has triumphed. Christ has triumphed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This joyful Easter message that we shout from the rooftops from that rings from every steeple every year Christ is risen or in the words of the more ancient hymn Christians to the paschal victim offer your thankful praises the lamb the sheep has ransomed Christ who only is sinless reconciling sinners to the father life and death have contended in that combat Stupendence, the prince of life who died, reigns immortal. From the darkness and gloom and sadness, from the 40 days of meditation on sin, death, and repentance, joyfully looking forward to this day, abstaining from shouting and singing and ringing our chapels with alleluias in quiet reflective, meditative contemplation, we wait with joy for this day. The proof, the definitive proof, the one sign that Jesus ever promised to anyone, the sign of Jonah, has now been fulfilled. As Jonah was in the belly of the fish, so too shall the Son of Man be in the depths of the earth. But that great fish could not hold Jonah at God's command, and the tomb, our tomb, could not hold Jesus. He exclaimed from that cross, it is finished, and we know with absolute certainty because the tomb they laid him in is empty, it is acceptable to God. The sacrifice of Christ's body and blood in our place on that cross to rescue us back from sin, death, and the power of the devil has been accepted. In the great words of the Apostles' Creed, the second article, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty from whence he will come to judge the living and the dead. And that third article, and I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. That's right. Not only did Jesus die for you, but he is risen from the dead for you. And just as he is risen from the dead, so too shall you be. And the Apostle Paul promises this to us from Christ in the book of Romans, the sixth chapter, when he says we were buried, therefore with him into death by baptism, that just as Christ was raised from the dead, we too might walk in newness of life. Jesus on this glorious eighth day of creation is the first fruits of those who will be raised from the dead. And like he is reunited, immortal, 
body and soul, forever joined, never to die again. He promises that a day will come, that he will come back and raise us from the dead, unite our souls and our flesh to live in a new heaven and a new earth for all of eternity. What a joyous, wonderful, wonderful Easter message. Your sins are forgiven. The the litany of, of grievances against you, the legal demands of the law, the sins that Satan has a record of, that list as empty as Jesus' tomb. It was your cross that he died on. It was your tomb that he spent his Sabbath rest. And now, on this eighth day of creation, your cross is empty, your tomb is empty, and you will live forever with Christ in paradise. This is the sign, sealed, delivered, final, authoritative message. This is the completion from that awful day in the garden when God promised that the seed of the woman would crush the head of the serpent. And we know from the Apostles' Creed and from the book of Peter, uh, one of the epistles of Peter, that Christ did indeed descend into hell, but not as the televangelists say to continue suffering. No, Jesus said on the cross, it is finished, it is accomplished. Jesus descended into hell, victorious over sin, death, and the power of the devil, finally overtaking the strong man. He marched himself, God in human flesh, into the very gates of hell, took the keys of death from Satan, and now he holds those keys. He holds the keys, and he has unlocked to you the kingdom. Jesus giving these keys to the office of pastor, saying, whoever sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Heaven is unlocked. And it is unlocked to you. The only people locked out of heaven are those who have locked themselves out. But to you, as a free gift, the gates of heaven are open. You will spend eternity in paradise with Christ. And this is not just some cute story. This is not just some, oh, he rose spiritually in our hearts. No, that clay, that body that was laid cold, dead in the tomb, that body is reanimated. It is alive. Not like Uh, I have a friend who loves to tease me about happy zombie Jesus day. No, this is the same Jesus risen from the dead. Not the living dead, risen from the dead. And just as he was crucified and died for you, he is risen for you. He lives forever. He will never die. He has conquered death by his death, and death itself has spit him back out. He is alive. Satan is defeated, crushed, judged. He may scowl around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, but more aptly put, he's like a dog chained to his doghouse. He can bark all he wants. Fine. He is chained. He is defeated, and Jesus will come again to judge the living and the dead. And that day, not a day for te- of terror for those of us who are in Christ. As Paul says of the resurrection, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed. The penetrable putting on the impenetrable, the perishable putting on the imperishable, the mortal putting on immortality. Just as Christ is risen from the dead, never to die again, he comes one day for you. Your death, (laughs) your tomb, your, your coffin will not hold you. In Christ, you too will conquer death. And you will live and reign with him for all of eternity. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.